The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we do have some very special nerds joining us. The Construction Brothers, Tyler and Eddie Campbell here. How's it going, guys? What's up? I'm Eddie Campbell. I am Tyler Campbell. Check out their podcast yeah. Wednesday, Friday. Are you guys ready? Let me share my screen. I'm so ready. I don't know if you're ready. Hmm. I know where this is. You actually know this door. Wait. Yeah. I photo is that a real door it is a real door but does it lead to anywhere that is cement behind the door <laughs> i was wondering <laughs> you look in the window a relatively new hotel but there is a caveat this hotel was constructed from an old building it was a retrofit building can we like phone a friend is that how the game works <laughs> I don't know. Who would you call? Do you have <laughs> door experts in your phone just ready to go? What, no. What if we prank called the hotel? You could call Benji. <laughs> actually, yes. So this was an architectural decision is what you're telling me. Yeah. Did you actually get the backstory on this? So first thing I do whenever I check into a hotel is I always throw my stuff in and then I go to the nearest emergency exit to make sure everything is compliant and make sure that I can escape if there's a, you know, like a normal sane door hardware nerd, right? And so this door to the left of this door is actually the emergency exit. It's the path of egress. And so if you run out this door in an emergency, you're like, which door do I take? There is a door to the left that goes down the stairs that you can then exit. But there's also this door right here. And you're like, whoa, what's going on here? I didn't just get imagery of the office whenever they're doing the fire drill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stay calm, stay calm. I was, was thinking more like the old good Bugs Bunny cartoons where people still got hit with anvils and this door looks like something that you would try to run through and then somehow end up in pancake form. <laughs> <laughs> also there's no doorknob on it well it wouldn't need one would it? it it wouldn't and i'm just wondering like how do you ever get this open again is it welded shut uh no you... actually i should have gotten a, a close-up that might be a weld on the hinge there but huh. uh, as far as i could tell it wasn't welded shut i think they just cemented it off and as opposed to tearing out the door i don't know maybe it's structurally part of the the building like they need that frame in the door we see that a lot in steel now like see i don't, I don't know why they they didn't just take the whole door out as opposed to just fill it with concrete like that's a popular <laughs> engineering method now especially in seismic what putting doors where there should be yeah, steel you use, beams you use doors instead of beams <laughs> They're pretty scary, right? In, in elementary school, when we were doing the earthquake drill, where did they tell you to hide underneath exactly. the door? Exactly. Yes. Get in the doorway. There you go. Even better if it's welded shut. Yeah. And it acts <laughs> like not? your concrete form, right? Yeah. Guys, I, I got to be honest. I don't see any problem with this. I think it's fine. I don't think there needs to be anything addressed with this. Can we grade it? I, Can well, we give it a score? Yeah. Let's, Should let's, I give come it? In. let's give it a knocking score. What do you think? You know, I think that if you're stupid enough to open that door, then you deserve it. And I think it was an architect decision personally so i'm gonna go one i don't think there's anything wrong with this i just think they're an idiot if they try to walk through it i feel the need to go 10 again just because he went one but <laughs> but i'm gonna go one as well because i think it's hilarious and i kind of want it to stay in the world <laughs> I would love walking by this and figuring out that there's concrete behind it. I would, I mean, Somebody, I'd probably invite a friend and be like, come here, look at this. This is awesome. The best part is there's probably an RFI on this somewhere. There's yeah. got to be an RFI somewhere. Ball it's order court. request. Ball in courts. Where's this? <laughs> no. We're there in litigation, literally over this whole area. <laughs> We're making jokes. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's also a one. The only thing we're really missing here though, is the, this is not a door sign <laughs> for no other reason than it's unhinged. Like we need that but if you guys ever come visit us in new haven i can take you here <laughs> so they do show that there's concrete behind that window so i mean i feel like that tells you enough of this is not a door no sign needed really. maybe they added the window so you could see that there was concrete <laughs> there. the amount of time that they spent putting a window in that door versus just filling <laughs> the hole <laughs> Why is this here? Why? I like how you've got yeah. this as a post-installed window. Put a window in like, it. We didn't buy a door with a window in it. We put the window in after we got the door. Yeah. It like, yeah. Somebody give me some plexiglass, man. I feel like Procore would have solved all of this. We don't overthink anything. We don't overthink it. <laughs> no. 
So not too knocking bad. I agree with you. I don't think there's any code violations per se. I mean, maybe someone might be confused because it's on the path of egress, but there isn't an exit sign above it. And there was an exit sign on the other side. So that would lead people that direction. So I'm just confused about why they didn't just take the door out as opposed to leave it in there, but it made for a great shot. So what's the score? What's the score, man? Yeah, I'm waiting. Well, yeah. What's my score? Yeah. What's, what's your, your score? score? Probably like a two or three. See, yeah. I actually was pretty darn close on that one. <laughs> Hilariously <laughs> enough, I was trying to be stupid again and I still got close <laughs> to the experts. I'm feeling pretty good here. I was just hoping for unanimous. Mia, did you give it an official score? I said a one. We yeah. had three ones and you ruined it. Come on, man. <laughs> Join the club. Also, I don't feel like I'm an expert here. I'm just here for a good time. I'm not here for a long time. Just a good time. Join so, the club. Just here to have fun. Seriously. This was new construction. So I'd be really confused if this was a new door. You can actually tell this is an older door. Even though the door is in pretty good shape, it's actually very similar shape to this door. But you can tell that it's an older style door because it's got the wire frame and the glass. And it's actually not code compliant anymore. So they probably would grandfathered into from the previous building that this was grown off of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So huh. I want to draw you out. Yes. Like, why are we no longer allowed to have wires in the glass? Because this was throughout my school days in all of our classrooms. Oh, oh it's so. true. So the uh, a big concern was from a first responder standpoint, if they had to break the glass to try to get into places, it was keeping them from breaking the glass and people were getting hurt because of that. I think also fire rating had something to do with it. So what you're saying is, is that this one was acceptable because, I mean, if a firefighter or a first responder tried to break through this, then honestly, they probably need to be let go. They better have been the Kool-Aid man, actually. <laughs> this is where the Kool-Aid man comes from. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Just bust through it. Last photo. Are you ready? Bring it. That's cute. I mean, it's well, an interesting choice. <laughs> I know for sure they have the air handler in that door. Benji, this is at your house and you twitch when you walk by it, isn't it? Come every, on. Every time. Wow. Wow. Of all the houses. Oh my goodness. And all of the lands. I just want to know where it goes. It's a Narnia. That's cool. That was a yeah. wardrobe, but it's all right if it's a door for this episode. And it's half one. I do like the panel style on it, so mm. I march for that. Yeah, yeah. Architecturally, this is nice. This is nice. This is I feel pretty. like the threshold's a little thick. I appreciate the fact that they put the door stop up at the top hinge to make sure that it doesn't hurt anything you know they took the extra time to make sure to put that door stopper in there usually you're not really concerned about your door slamming into your cross beams but just true true it could, it could hurt the drywall for sure this looks like an eddie idea like this is me <laughs> yes looking that at does christy and being like but listen I'm, I'm just hear me out something. just hear me out we need a little storage space Okay. And I know because I know how stuff's built that that is hollow. That's got to be hollow because the return is right under it. There ain't nothing above it. We can capitalize on this space. Just hear me out. One door. <laughs> <laughs> but then she got yeah. to pick out the trim and everything, right? That's right. Oh, yeah. Gets, I'll make it pretty. I promise. <laughs> make it pretty. Nobody will ever notice. Except for Benji. Well, uh, here's the other side of this too. Is that a hallway behind it? Yeah, like right here. No, 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 no. To the that, to the left that. hand side. That's the entryway to the house. Yes. Okay. Is it like a peekaboo door? <laughs> I said that kind of the knob is still like not proportionate to the door spacing, but still where you would be like naturally like open up a door from. Do you know what this is, Benji? No, I have no background. Oh, okay. I was like, don't leave it in the cold. You know, okay, so what I think this is, is you've got your foyer to the left. You have that actual full-size door to the right, which means you have a bedroom behind there. But because of the air handler, they fully blocked that out. So it was empty space. My last house, I had a 1950s cape. And at the end of the hallway, we had an air handler just like that. And they put a little linen closet in there right above the air handler. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that, that bedroom's closet is probably behind that. This, but that was just blank space or the entryway closet is behind this yeah there, I, I could see a closet being there yeah it may not have been the homeowner but somebody definitely had the good idea of capitalizing on unused hollow yeah. space yeah i gotta give them you know high marks for that yeah i'm all for capitalism in that regard that's i'm gonna go well you that this is a single story house i'm gonna go you that it doesn't matter that return might be a chase way and then that whole space would be used but if it's all My... downstairs maybe that goes in the crawl space mm -hmm. it wouldn't be my last house was a two-story house, and this was our first floor linen closet. The setup was just like this. Boom. Dang. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter. Okay. And you're an idiot, and that's this all I need to say. Like Harry Potter's uh, front bedroom uh, this door. This is Harry's room. <laughs> Back to the room, Potter. Oh, what? 
shoes to above the air handler. So if we open that up, Hagrid's going to be just slammed in there. Hello, Harry. He's <laughs> <laughs> got an owl and a dragon in there and stuff. Ooh, it could just be a portal to Hogwarts just in general. Do you think that's the new nine and three quarters? Who knows? I'm going to give it a score of a five on this one because mainly I think it's a portal to another dimension and I think it needs to at least be checked out to make sure that it's not like something weird. Like there's not a black hole or something like that that's going to be trying to get through that. Honestly, Great. or a Demogorgon for that matter could lead to the upside down. We don't know. So I give it a five. I'm still on a one. Like this is genius. There was empty space that somebody put a door to. Now you've got a place to put your towels. Ooh, I had an idea. What if, what, what if you opened it and an ironing board fell out? On your face? You know, you've seen that? Like the ironing board? Yeah. 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 I'm on a one. I'm a score at one. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. I like it. I think, I think it's cool. It's a good talking point. You have a party. You're like, you see my door? <laughs> Ooh, it's a bourbon closet. <laughs> now it's a one for you. I'd get that. Yeah. That was a bourbon closet. I'm in. So if it's another dimension, it's a five. If it's a bourbon closet, it's a one. Yeah. We just got to figure it out. So I'm going to keep it at a five because we need to check that out and verify some things first. Breaking all the rules. Um, but honestly, I feel like if we put a pane of glass in there and maybe some lighting or something, that'd be a pretty good bourbon shelf. I was going to jokingly say a five, but either way, if it's a portal to another dimension or a bourbon closet, it doesn't have a lock on it to keep out or keep in or to keep people out. So it's a seven. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one. It's a very creative use of space. I don't like the style of door, but that's my personal preference. I can't score it badly for that. Besides, I would never, ever do this in my home. And it would make me twitch a little bit every time I walked by. It's not bad. It's not bad. Besides, it just hurts me a little bit to look at. <laughs> Other than that, it's fine. Yeah, it's a one. I'm with you guys. I really wanted you to say this was your house. <laughs> <I'm doing> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now Tyler messed up. We would have been unanimous. I'm no, sorry. I wouldn't have had that lock on my front door. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have concerns. All We're right. so close to greatness. I have, I have concerns. Real concerns concerns what if this opened up a portal to the planet of the apes what if then you wouldn't go in you just but you it would be too late if you opened it up now wouldn't it you think the apes are just ready to pour out i too i, I really do i think yeah. they're in their breeding all right well thank you again thank you tyler eddie appreciate it the construction brothers podcast wednesdays and fridays right, right. Um, check yep. out anywhere where you can find podcasts and and on youtube right Yep. Yeah. And then if you want, if you're not sure where to go, just go to brospodcast.com. Okay. And we'll put a link below too. So people can find it directly. It was a, a genuine pleasure having you on the show. It really was. Thank you for your insight, your opinion, and join us for the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, leave a comment down below, or you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.